Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. So the question is, if the Pythagorean theorem is true, is the converse of the Pythagorean theorem true? So what would be the converse of the Pythagorean theorem? Well, the converse would state, let's say we have this triangle here. So you have A, B, C, 15, 9, and 12. All right, so the Pythagorean theorem states that if, if we have a right triangle, then we know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. The converse states, well, let's say we have a triangle, and this does work. It's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. You can check that. So if this is true, is it a right triangle? So basically, we're going backwards. Instead of being given a right triangle and knowing the sides are related, if the sides are related, do we have a right triangle? The question is, whoops, is triangle A, B, C a right triangle? It's supposed to be an S right there. Okay, so let's do a little proof to kind of look at whether or not this is a right triangle. And so to do this proof, we're going to go ahead and build another triangle here. This one we're going to say is a right triangle. And we'll call this P, Q, R. And I'm going to call this side 9 and this side 12. Okay, so this is going to be the value of X. So we'll start off with triangle P, Q, R is a right triangle. And we're going to find the value of x. So now because we know this is a right triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we have 9 squared plus 12 squared equals x squared. So it's 81 plus 144 equals x squared. Let's see, that is um, 225 equals x squared. So that means <clears throat> x equals 15. So this is going to be 15. All right, so now that this is 15, um, what we're going to do is we're going to compare these two triangles. So the first question is triangle ABC congruent to triangle PQR? And then the answer to that is yes, by the side, side, side congruence postulate. So there are a number of ways that we prove triangles congruent back in geometry. We had side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, things like that. And so side, side, side was probably the first one you did, you looked at. All right, so now that we know that these two triangles are congruent, is angle ACB congruent to angle PR? Q. So here's A, C, B, P, R, Q. Are those congruent? And the answer is yes. Now I'm not sure what you um, put in geometry. When I taught geometry, I always said C, P, C, T, C. So that is um, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. And essentially that just means that if these two triangles are congruent, then all the corresponding parts have to be congruent. So then we can say, therefore, angle ACB is a right angle, and triangle ABC is a right triangle. There we go. 
Okay, so I mean, I don't think this was a super formal proof, but it was a nice little proof to show that if you have three sides of a triangle that meet the requirement of a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then it is a right triangle. And so that is the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. So the converse of the Pythagorean theorem states, I'll start down here, if the square of the length of the longest side of a triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the lengths of the other two sides, then the triangle is a right triangle. a lot to it. All right, so, I mean, essentially, this first part says, if a triangle has sides that fit into a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and it's true, then it's a right triangle. All right, so let's look at an example of that real quick. Let's see, we have this here. Let's say we have 10. Eight two times the square root of forty one. All right, so is this a right triangle? All right, so we have a triangle here with three side lengths ten, eight, two squared, forty one. And we want to know if it's a right triangle, and so we put in a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Right, now, the first thing we have to do is we have to identify, well, what is c? And c is always going to be the longest side. So it's definitely not 8, so we have to decide, is it 10 or 2 squared of 41s? And let's see here, squared of 41, well, 6 squared is 36. 7 squared is 49, so it's between 6 and 7. And 2 times 6 is um, 12. And 2 times 7 is um, 14. So it's between 12. So this has to be the longest side, because even if it was, you know, 6.4, it would be bit, bit bigger than 10. So we know that this is the longest side. So we have 8 squared plus 10 squared equals 2 times the square root of 41 squared. So 8 squared is 64, 10 squared is 100, and let's see here, 2 squared is 4, and the square root of 41 squared is just times 41. And so we have 164 equals 164. And that is true. So, yes, this is a right triangle. All right, there we go. So, the converse of the Pythagorean theorem is true. And here was an example of using the converse.